We're going to hear from Mr. Sean Keener, if you can come up, sir. Um, he is the CEO of Booms and All Travel Network, and they were our very first sponsor when we did the first TX in Chicago. Um, but he's also grown many, many sites, so he's going to talk to you about growing websites. Right here. challenges that we got going today and hope to leave you with kind of a little process, not tactical things that are going to help you get to a million. I don't know what a million is for you. It could be a million page views a month. It could be a million dollars a year. It could be a million followers. I'm not really sure. But the million is for you to figure out what your million is. But uh, I hope to leave you with uh, some things that you can take away and help you get to where you want to go. So. So this is uh, a little bit, that I call this my credibility slide. Um, started in 1998 with Chris Heidrick, another guy, Nick O'Neill, in Eugene, Oregon. We literally had no traffic much like you. We had zero page views in that year. Uh, last year, in 2010, we did 45 million page views. So uh, we're still small in the grand scope of things, but uh, we're still growing and I expect to do a few more this year. So see that uh, chart there at the bottom uh, that's uh, Italy, why go Italy's traffic over the past five years, and it's, uh, it's a long, steady stream. And that's, that's one of the things that I want to leave you with, is that it's a lot of hard work. It's not easy, there's no magic pill, uh, but, and, and we expect her, uh, Jessica's site, to do over a million page views a month, probably in the next 18 months. She's definitely on pace, and she's doing a great job. Many of you know her, so we're really proud of her. Um, in the past 12 years, we've grown three sites to over 1 million page views a month, and we have dozens of sites that do over 100,000 page views per month. So, you know, this is, when I traveled around the world in 1995, 96, you know, this was my dream. Um, you know, obviously that's a, a nice look, looking young lady there, but I kind of thought, you know, I wanted to be a travel writer, and, uh, you know, I thought, Boy, I just had this awesome experience, traveling around the world, met all these beautiful people, locals and travelers alike, and the feeling was so wonderful. And uh, I said, how can I do this for a living? I remember I emailed Lonely Planet. They were looking for a local travel writer for the city of Chicago. That's where I'm from. They didn't want me. <laughs> and you know, this was kind of the internet boom days, and uh, I moved out west, and uh, I started this site, Boots and All. And, one of the, there's, a, there's a story that I want to start off with about this dream that really relates to uh, what I think we're all about. And if, if many of you, I think our generation, we know about the movie Braveheart. People have seen Braveheart. Mel Gibson is the, is the, the main character in that movie. He is a, uh, he's a, he, he actually used to be really cool, kind of like, uh, <laughs> like Brad Pitt today, but uh, he, he's kind of gone off the, the and now and in this movie, you know, he was a, a character that defended and wanted to give freedom to Scotland. And uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful movie, lots of wars. And at the end, the English finally catch him. He's in prison and they're going to execute him. And if you remember watching this movie, the younger people, look it up on YouTube. I rewatched it this morning. And Mel is, you know, strapped to a table and the priest is looking over him. He's saying, you know, 
submit to my England. Kind of like this. And you see they're focusing up here on him. And the knife goes down there. Has to hold. <laughs> Rip him out. And he just... <laughs> wondering how this comes back to travel blogging. Again. <laughs> so, you know, the you know, guts are out. Testes are everywhere. And, he's, and, he, and he, he somehow gathers within himself the energy to say, Freedom! And I think that's what the dream's about. <laughs> it's about freedom. It is. We all want freedom. We all want the ability to travel. Hit, hit send. Goes off to the editor at the Chronicle or publishes on your blog and then you know, you go back to your resort, have a Mai Tai, meet the local, maybe you're having a little love fling. I mean, that was my idea of what a travel writer, a travel blogger, a travel media person wants. So, um, but, you know, the reality is, uh, you know, it's a, it's a lot of work. Um, glad to hear you guys laughing. My, my friend Rolf, many of you know, showed this slide a few years ago at one of his talks, and, uh, he said the same thing. It's, you spend a lot of time inside a room. Might not be that pretty, writing a lot. You know, many of you, I see how hard you work on Twitter and Facebook and on your blogs. And a lot of it is actually not traveling. And uh, you're not drinking Mai Tais. You're not hooking up with the local girl or the local guy. It's, it's a lot of hard work. And uh, But, you know, I will tell you, <laughs> over the course of 13 years, you know, we have achieved a, a level of sustainability, as you've seen from an incredibility slide. You know, maybe your uh, earnings are kind of like that, you know, $13.34. <laughs> Talk to a few dozen of you the past few days, trying to get an idea of where you are so kind of economically. And I hear anywhere from zero, you know, really just getting started. So I think a few people make a few thousand, maybe more. But uh, you know, I, I think I have a few things I can leave for anyone, even if you're the most experienced travel blogger in the world, I think I'm going to, I'm going to try and challenge some of you uh, to, with some of the things I'm going to talk about. So, next up. Here's my process. So these are the three things I'm going to spend a few more minutes talking about. You know, so number one, dream. You know, what is your dream? You know, I showed the dream of the woman there hitting send on the laptop. Build a plan and then do it. So it sounds really simple, but I'm like, I'll, I'll go into each one of these things. And I will tell you this again, it's very hard. It's, there's, you've probably heard a few people say there's no magic solution. There's no magic key that makes this all work. Uh, I told this quick, quick little anecdote yesterday during the monetization panel, but uh, I am really the four yards in a cloud of dust sort of guy. You know, I have, I'm, I love Vince Lombardi. Uh, I love the way that guy coached and built teams for you guys that don't know. Bay Packers coach in I think the late 60s, so even before my time. And those guys just ran the ball four yards to the right every time. But you know, they eventually got to the touchdown. And that, that's kind of how I build sites. I don't really have a glory pill. I have never had investors. Um, I just, I try to build things that people like and I learn and, uh, and I repeat it over and over and over again. So, so the first part, Last year, I looked at their uh, financial statement, 
500 million in revenue, 250 million in profit. So th these are the sorts of, I mean, these guys are really, really nailing it. And uh, if you go for travel, you're gonna get your ass kicked. So that's why I ask you, know, what can you be number one in the world at? Pick something, go for it. Number two, so the first part is the dream. What can you be number one at? Number two, Embrace the simple process that makes you better over time. And this is something that I totally screwed up on. If I would have known this from day one, we would have been going a lot faster, lost, lost a lot more, lost, lost a lot less money, and uh, grown a lot more. But uh, have, have a plan, run, make a process, measure, refine, repeat. What I mean by that? Let's just talk from a travel blog perspective. Do you have a content plan? Are you just waking up one morning saying, "What am I going to write today?" <laughs> Do you have a process for getting that content produced in, in a consistent and efficient manner? And then do you measure the results of what you're doing, refine it and repeat? So um, each one of us had probably have to have a different engine to run their site through, but this I find is very, very helpful for us. And the next part is, you know, this is me, go, 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 go. I mean, you just gotta do it. I would say anyone I know that's been excellent at this is obsessive, 100% obsessive. I know almost no one that has built a million page views a month, any sort of size in their travel book that is not completely obsessed. If you want to build some sort of passive income flow from 1-900 phone numbers at night, this is just not the industry to be in. It is very, very hard work and it's very competitive. And you know the, the story that uh, I'm gonna share real quickly with you right now is, few of you have heard of mentioned Tim Barrett four-hour work week. He uh, used to blog on Ralph's magablogging.net, something that we have been working with him for a few years. And Tim actually would call me up in 2006 before his book launched. And, and he was just, I didn't know who he was. No one knew who he was. Sean, you know, can I you know, give away a few books and I'll give it to him? Who are you? you know, wouldn't know that. And of course, today, most people know him. He's a New York Times bestseller. And uh, I said, you know, send me a book. I read it. I said, oh, it sounds interesting. So you know, we, we did a few things with him over the years, and one of those funny things about him is that yeah, he's very successful today, he sells books. Many of you have read his blog. That guy is an obsessive, obsessive worker as well. He works very, very hard. Though many of the things and themes in his book for us are definitely good and can help you leverage your time. So here's another story, another thing that I learned a few years ago, and it really helped me figure out where do I fit in this whole thing. The internet is huge. Ever since Al Gore invented it, it's just been, you know, I just, you know, and where do I fit in this thing? So I was in India in 2008 for an entrepreneur's conference, and there was a German guy there who runs a, a bunch of different startups, and he explained the internet to me like this. So if you're familiar with kind of like the, the canopy of the Amazon forest, and it's its, its own little ecosystem of, uh, you know, you got the big trees and the middle trees and little, little trees, and you don't have light, you ain't growing. And to me, on the internet, you don't have light equals traffic, you will be nothing. So, you know, where do you go get this traffic? In the internet canopy. Google, Twitter, Yahoo. No, not Yahoo so much anymore, but you know, <laughs> Facebook, Yelp, eBay, Amazon, I don't know, but you know, when you buy your domain name, probably you're buying a seed, right? You plant that seed, put a little bit of content on it, send it to your family and friends, grows a little bit. Start figuring out how to build something of value, your tree grows a little bit. And hopefully, if you want to get to whatever your million is, you're going to build an ecosystem somehow that, you know, you're going to be part of this internet so that, you know, Google, yeah, Google, yeah, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, they all kind of need you. How, how can you build your site so it's, it's needed? And that comes back to my number one thing. What can you be number one in the world at? And if you're not number one in the world, you can get wiped off the face of this earth. You know, I, I didn't mention that after the second slide there. But even though we have you know, 45 million page views in 2010, I mean, tomorrow, we could be out of business. And every single one of you in here could be too. There are, I mean, I'm pretty confident there's going to be someone in this room that, you know, may be starting a company in the next year, hasn't even started it yet, and they may be the person.
person that we're talking about two years from now going, company X, and they haven't even started yet. So it's, it's, it's changing like crazy. You gotta change. That's why you gotta figure out what do you wanna be number one in the world at? What's your process? How are you gonna work the engine? And then go like hell. Go like hell. Graveyard of failures. <laughs> so, you know, I, there's, you know, this is how I started. Boots and all with Chris and Nick. Shotgun. Right here. <laughs> Boom! Think about 
you know, you, you sit at a, a dinner table in Indonesia, you don't think the Muslims are as scary after you sit out at a dinner with them. You know, I mean, after 9-11, I was, uh, our friend Nick got married in Indonesia, and, you know, people were saying, why are you going to Indonesia? It's terrorists. You know, but uh, it's not that scary when it's, these people just want to put rice and beans on the table just like us. So, BHAG, what's your BHAG? Look at, uh, Look at the postcards you got there. I want you want you all to fill it out. Put put a B hag down. We're gonna we're gonna share um, the best the best B hags, the best goals on our blog, and link out to your blog from the Boots and All blog. So you know, if you see these postcards on your table, go ahead and fit that up. Hand it to someone from Boots and All or at our desk here. We're gonna use good old snail mail to send this to you in a month or two. Old fashioned. It's not gonna be email. It's not gonna be a DM. You're gonna actually receive something physical that you wrote down. I will do this, I will set this goal, my BHAG is blah. I want to I challenge everybody here, whether you're just starting or you're super, super advanced, to set a bigger goal than you think is possible. Shoot for the stars, if you hit halfway, it's still pretty damn good. If you're shooting for, I want to have $100 a month off my blog, I mean, geez, you know, it's not much, so. If, you are ever coming through Portland, Oregon, and you want to talk to me about your site, you want me to talk about your BHAG, do so. I'm happy to meet up with you. The folks from Boots and all, wherever they are, Katie's in Chicago, she's happy to meet with you. Jessica's in Portland, love to meet up with you. So, to recap, dream big, build a process, and go like hell. Cheers. Family travel iPhone apps, fame. She's going to moderate.